Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy, Jack Oats to go. You know you don't. Thanks for tuning in, as always. So, I wanted to talk about the clip op. This is going to be a very, very short video. Uh, so, I was thinking why some things don't seem to add up all the way. Uh, and I was thinking about how, like... Uh, so, we talk about Belphegor a whole lot on this channel, right? And the last video I put out on Belphegor uh, had to do with Yami uh, being what would what I feel like would be the perfect vessel for him. And I got to wondering about, you know, maybe some other devils that have a like a perfect human host. And I, I did a little bit of digging uh, as far as like what is the purpose of humans in the grand scheme of things because in in a lot of things that you're going to read and come across as far as humans go uh is that god created them to be worshipped this was supposed to be the best thing he ever did the best creation uh and this caused a whole fallout between him and his sons and daughters and um in this series it seems that humans act as intermediary forces uh, for uh, higher beings and lower beings. And uh, they they use them to gain power. Uh, and, and ultimately, they become these forces not to be reckoned with, um, as we're kind of seeing, right? So uh, I, I got to thinking about what is the difference? What is, what is going on exactly? with uh, the clip out we have in the series and the ones that we have uh, here in real life. Uh, and for me, what I'm thinking is that this is an unfinished clip out. This is the clip out before it becomes organized. So I, I want to say that the devils that we might find between Lilith and Nama and the last might be different from the documented current clipotic devils that we have. So we may not be getting Adremelech. Uh, we may not be getting Baal, Asmo, Asmodeus, uh, Ostaroth. Not yet. Because, uh, and this is something I went over a very long time ago, uh, when I was trying to put together uh, the, at the time it was the anti-magic devil, and Asta. Um, and, you know, really laying into the clip bot for the first time. Uh, and part of the clip bot that we tend to look over is that each husk is actually two parts. And this is how it's broken down. We have to remember that when God was creating the tree of life, that the clip bot was born out of the sphere of Gibura. Uh, and it broke 10 times, meaning that it created 10 spheres within uh, the realm of chaos, which became to be known as hell or the clip uh, And these husks that broke, that fell into what's called the Zimsum, uh, lacked life. Or we can't say they lacked life because they have it, but they can't hold it and contain it because they're imperfect. So what happens is there's this just natural imbalance within the husk. And they have separated the husk and then the flame of life that is struggling to be contained within this husk. And the husks themselves are named differently. And uh, I, I need to do a little bit more digging, uh, but I do know for the Thamael specifically um, their husk is called the Katario, and uh, this is what holds in the Thamael. This is that husk, and this is what makes that realm uh, more stable. So, the thought is that this tree that Dante provides us with is not uh, the clip out that we know that is organized and stable. This is um, highly unstable. Um, unfounded forces uh, struggling to be contained. Uh, so, like I pointed out 
on Twitter, it doesn't seem that Lucifero really had a physical body. Uh, and that strikes me as odd, but it makes sense in this context. Um, if he is just a force struggling to be contained uh, within a body, because he's been very specific since, you know, the flashback to Lee Bay as a kid to now that he, there are very specific requirements for him to have a vessel. He can't just hop into any body. It's got to be a good one. Uh, so with that, uh, what I think we're getting in Black Clover is this big setup to organizing uh, the clipbot uh, and finding the devils that we do know. So as of right now, uh, we'll, we'll go with a demon that we talk about a whole lot, Belphegor. There might not be a Belphegor right now because uh, we have Yami in a uh, in his human state not acting as a vessel for a being like Belphegor. Um, and this, this can go for uh, some other uh, mages as well, like Lilith and Nama, maybe. Uh, Nama needing a a vessel uh, to be more perfect, uh, to be maybe out of Fuegolian, or, uh, you know, Nama, or Lilith, sorry, Lilith, you know, going for maybe another ice mage, or maybe she requires something different, because Lilith is a very dynamic demon. Uh, so, I don't know, it's just a thought I wanted to put out there, because Dante prevents it, presents us with a magic channel of Clipbot and not the Clipbot that we, you know, that we actually have in the real world. And I, I do think this might be the reason why. And so we, and I think something that kind of alludes to this as well is that when you look at that, that tree and you separate the, um, the branches with seals, it does end up adding up. Uh, and if we take the tree uh, from Lilith, where Nama is, excuse me, which is the very bottom where she's connected to these roots, uh, goes directly up to what would be Lucifer and the Um So by removing, you know, these seals, he's able to exert more power directly into the very last uh, sphere of the clipot. Uh, more towards the roots and branching out into the real world. Uh, and this kind of goes back into a theory that I had made about how these devils are the reason why the world exists and operates the way it does in the first place, down to uh, politics all the way up to just how we live physically, um, where uh, even ancient Egyptians to uh, mystic Jewish Kabbalah uh, explains that the physical world and the, the bodies we live in are a product of devils, more namely Satan, and, uh, and the sparks of life are due to higher beings like God and angels. Um, so with this magic channel going directly into the world uh, where we have devils that have gravity, space, time, fire, and ice, uh, we're able to create these things in the real world um, with the destructive force. Now, the Tree of Life would have the less destructive force. They would have um, more pure things. And I, I've said this many, many times before, but just as a quick run through, like fire, for example, we see that Nama has all burning fire. It burns everything, concepts even, apparently. So Agrippa, in his one of his three books of the occult, explains that fire in heaven is used to purify and not to burn at all. And it mediates itself on Earth in the physical realm where you get both destructive properties as well as purifying properties out of fire. Uh, so they're both extremes. Uh, so, and I use Fauna as an example of, of ultimately healing fire. Um, so I, I think that's kind of what's going on. We have a magic channel, but we don't have an organized clip on. We don't have necessarily all the devils. So... I, I say that to say this, I don't know if I'm going to label the second seal devil as a current and known clipotic devil. Uh, for me, I think that's going to be one of the 
one of the twists is that I think Tabata is already expecting us to believe that, yeah, that's definitely a gem like, and I'm not saying it, it can't be. I think there's a lot of, uh, a lot of things, you know, context wise that could lead to him being, uh, at least Samael, I think Samael fits better than Andromelec, but um, we we would really, really have to see, because the clipbot is very, very um, complicated, uh, and I know people really want this to be Andromelec, and it, it just doesn't necessarily fit yet. We haven't seen much, but, uh, I mean, we have to understand that this would be the realm of illusions where essentially the illusion of reality is lifted um and you start seeing truths for what they are um so it could have to do with illusory magic but then uh also attributed to that realm uh i believe mathers has samael there now the realm itself is called samael uh and the actual angel samael is where beelzebub would be um so that's where it gets kind of confusing because people do want this to be samael as well and i think samael the black does kind of fit what we've seen so far but um samael is again is the name of the realm and there's not really any clip bots that have him just uh, sitting in the uh, the third realm of the clip bot. Um, and, and this, like I said, it's complicated because this is like a Lilith situation where Lilith is split into three parts within the clip bot. Uh, the first two, like we've seen, uh, and we've gone over that. And then the Satariel, she's the queen of the Satariel, where Lucifugio Fulcala is. Uh, however, she is not the sole operator of the Sotario. Um So it's there's a lot of moving parts. So I'm curious to see what Tabata is doing here. Um, right now, I'm not convinced that that is a named and known Klopatic devil. I, I do think this is going to be just some other devil. But uh, in the next video, I do want to kind of go into... Uh, the differences between nobles and royals and then devils and potential angels because i think tabata gave us some evidence that might have just flown under our radars honestly uh and this all stemmed from noticing that you know has a half marking on his on his face in the elf arc and uh and yeah there there is uh, some realizations that i've that i've had since then so uh, be on the lookout for that uh but i hope you guys kind of uh, see what I'm getting at in this, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what Tabata does with uh, with these future events and this second seal devil especially because there's a lot more to this, which makes Lucifero, as the chapters go on for me at least, seem less and less important in the grand scheme of things. So I'm really wondering what is about to happen. Uh, as far as the dynamics go with the clip bot, because I think there's going to be a huge upheaval pretty soon. But we'll see. Thank you for tuning in. This has been Jackals Go. You either know or you don't.